One of the nice things about the holiday season is getting together with family, friends, and co-workers to share good cheer. So how do you make your party stand out? I want to go to a really awesome party. So mm -hmm. how about custom holiday drinks? Danny Schrock is the craft mixologist at Rendell Room in Moorhead City, and he's here with some ideas. So welcome. Welcome. All right, so I see All a right. lot of drinks here, a lot of happiness to get into. You have three drinks, one for three holidays that are coming up, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it's all about the seasons. As far as the um, cocktails go, that's what we do at the Arundel Room on the Crystal Coast. We have, uh, we, we started our first cocktail, the first modern day cocktail bar in North Carolina. Wow. that we know of mm -hmm. and and we just did it with fresh ingredients and doing seasonal cocktails on our menus and and these are three different seasonal cocktails all so. right thanksgiving is up first so let's talk about that so thanksgiving let's talk drink about thanksgiving drink well with thanksgiving you think pumpkin yes of course <laughs> yeah, I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie so if you think like i do you just take pumpkin pie and put it in a glass and drink it instead it's of lovely. eat it. And, and, so that, and that's kind of how I, how I went about that. And I just took uh, vanilla vodka, a little hazelnut liqueur to give that crust taste, mm -hmm. and then take a little bit of pumpkin pumpkin pie mix. You that, can buy ooh, it at the grocery. You can totally buy it at the grocery store. It's the same mix you'd make a pumpkin pie out of. A little bit of cream. Wait, actual pumpkin pie? Yes. Pie? In a drink. Yes. Wow. Yes. And uh, okay. and so it dissolves well. Flavors are good. So you just take a little bit of cream mm -hmm. and put it up there to uh, cream it up a little bit. And then nice. I like to take a dusting of, uh, of allspice and put on top of the drink. And voila, you have the late harvest cocktail. There it is. Woot, woot. Okay. And, and the, uh, the, the next drink that I do, we're going to make that. Okay. And uh, we're going to take a little fresh mint. Mm -hmm. All right. This is called the Cheerwine Julep. Cheerwine's a, a soda from North Carolina. And this is your December drink. This right? is our December drink. Okay. So I've never had Cheerwine. I like to measure my drink. ingredients. That way all drinks taste the same. Yeah. We're going to go with an ounce and a half of uh, Cardinal Gin, which is also from North Carolina. Love it. I love using North Carolina ingredients Absolutely. because this Makes is where we live. Why so not? Because we, we got them That's to right. use them. That's right. <laughs> and on the Crystal Coast, we're lucky because our, we're able to grow things that they can't get in New York, let's say. So the, <laughs> and, and fresh ingredients is where it's at. So we're just going to take take some uh, mint, muddle it in the gin. Okay. I'm going to dump a little cheer wine in there, and we're going to dump about two ounces. Cheer wine? I never two, even heard of cheer wine. Two ounces yeah. of cheer wine. It's from Sanford, North Carolina. Mm. Oh, okay. So I'm, we're going to take two ounces cheer of cheer wine. wine. I've uh, <laughs> squeezed some fresh lime juice, uh -huh. and we're going to put an ounce of lime juice in that. Okay. Because we like it tart. Yes, we do. So, and then I have some simple syrup I made up, which is 50-50 water to sugar. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to dump that in there. Then I like to take a little bit of ice, mm -hmm. shake it up just once or twice. That way it's all right. nice and right. <laughs> Mix up a little ice and pull it <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> and then we're going to put some cubes in a, in a glass. We're okay. going to strain off that mint and make leave a nice pretty cocktail. Ooh, Alex, since you are new to cheer one, I think you ought to try that okay, one. Okay, all right. And while Alex tries that one, tell us about the final drink, the New the Year's Eve. The final, one. the final drink is called the Crystal Toast. Mm. And we made that up because we're from the Crystal Coast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still a poet, then. Yeah, you are. But, uh, anyway, so we're going to take a, uh, a champagne flute. Mm -hmm. you, know, you like it? That's really good. I'm going to put about, I'm gonna put about a half ounce of St. Germain, which is elderflower liqueur made here in the United States. Mm -hmm. You keep working on that. And then, and then, you finish it during the commercial break, and I'll be oh, yeah. happy to try it. Yeah. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll be right back to All give right. you some motivation to get through your everyday challenges. That